Good morning. Our first staff meeting in, in January, I was on the agenda to talk about our stewardship plans. And it was a last minute change on it because I had the dates and I had who was speaking and I knew the mailings and all of that. And I decided to follow our theme, this is why I give. So I told the, the staff why I give. And at the end of my talk, my few minutes, Tim said, Roger, I want you to share that with the congregation, maybe on the 24th. And Lamar Smith spoke up and said, and don't leave out the part about the pickup truck. So here we go. I was raised on a farm in rural Illinois. My dad was a farmer, and that challenging and wonderful life of, of raising uh, four children and that. We were United Methodists. Actually, I go back to the time when it was just Methodist and became United Methodist while I was around seventh grade or so. But being a part of the church was an important part of our family. We were almost always there. If you uh, grew up Methodist like I did, um, I had all the perfect attendance Sunday school bars that you hung on top of one another and, and that. That's a, a foreign concept now, but uh, it was something we were quite proud of as a, as a family and that. And my dad's normal day was up early and out in the fields or fixing a tractor or whatever, but on Sunday morning he was dressed for church in his suit and sat at our little desk and wrote a check and had a box of envelopes and if you also were raised Methodist, you know what that box of envelopes were. And we would all go to church. Actually, we all had our own envelopes for, for Sunday school and that. But being there and being as a family and worshiping together and supporting that church was an important part. And I didn't know that growing up. It's when we're reflecting on it, why I give now. I was taught stewardship by watching my dad write that check every Sunday. I said we were almost always there. There were many times I you know, thought, can we just skip a Sunday? Can, do we have to be there? And, that, and it's like, no, we, we were there. I think it was, must have been a winter day. We were all dressed for church, which I'm still amazed. You know, these were simple times. Six of us in an old farmhouse with one bathroom, everybody ready and good to go, and when we came back from church, there was a, a dinner all ready uh, <laughs> to be served, too, so I don't know how my mother accomplished all that, but uh, one Sunday, the car didn't start, and rather than give up, which would have been the easy thing to do, the six of us piled in our pickup truck in the cab, and we went to church, and that's the part Lamar really liked. <laughs> so we Fast forward, I learned stewardship that way. And you know, why, why do we give now? Um, although we weren't members of this congregation when my children were, were growing up, Paul and I have two boys. Being a part of the children's ministry and, and youth ministry, the mission trips and all that were an important part of our family. And we gave then and we give now, so other families have that opportunity. That's an important part of that. We weren't always able to, to give at a 10% level, but the tithe is important to us, and we give at that level now. And I encourage others to do that. We have so many dy dynamic ministries, and we have a creative and dedicated staff that are all doing wonderful work for this church. I hope you participate along with that. Last year, just around a third of our congregation made a commitment to the church by completing a, a pledge card, a commitment card. Unfortunately, that's the national trends. I don't agree with it. I hope that this year that this congregation can buck those trends and that. I invite you to participate in the dynamic ministries that are going on here. Next Sunday is our commitment Sunday. You'll have a chance to, to bring a card to the communion rail when you come for communion. If you're not available next Sunday, maybe your car won't start. I hope it does, but you never know. If you're not here next Sunday, please make a commitment. Our ministries and the missions and that of this church 
are so valuable to what's going on in our congregation and our community. In our main hall, there's a series of posters that talk um, about the theme, This Is Why I Give. I had the privilege of having lunch with a young couple a, a few weeks ago, and they shared they love this church, and this is their church, and that's why, why they give. And I hope you have that strong commitment, too. I know once you, you make that commitment, and, and I hope you do for next year, that you won't regret it. There's so many good things going on. I know you want to be a part of that. Thank you.